This week on Maker Update, glow-in-the-dark chaos, a workstation for electronic forensics, a tiki bar basement volcano, cases for your knobs, and maker classes. It's Wednesday, March 8th. I'm Donald Bell, and welcome to another Maker Update. This is usually the part of the show where I tell you about some cool thing that happened this week and how amazing life is, but no, life is awful for Donald Bell right now. I've had a cold all week. I'm finally coming out of it but it's just a mixture of medication and coffee that is making me stand up right now. (laughs) But uh, we're just going to keep this one short. I'm going to start off with some interesting projects that I found this week, in general. Over on the Make Anything channel, Devin Montez shows off a project he calls the Pendulous. It's basically a linkage of two pieces of laser-cut acrylic attached with skateboard bearings to create a double pendulum. It's attached to a wall on a circle of glow-in-the-dark paint and it's kind of cool just to watch on its own. But when you attach an ultraviolet LED to the end and turn off the lights, it creates these beautiful light paintings as the UV light reacts with the paint. Devin doesn't have written instructions on this, which is kind of a bummer, but I'll include a link in the show notes to an instructable by SB Troy that creates the same mechanism using aluminum bar, which is honestly probably easier to work with without a laser cutter. Another project I like this week is this 3D printed workstation for testing small printed circuit boards. This is actually an improvement to a design I first wrote about while at Make Magazine. It uses crane arms now instead of the interlocking bulbs that I remember being a little fragile on the original design. What I love about this project is that the creator, Giuseppe Finzia, created it to solve a real problem he had at work. He's an analyst for an electronics forensic unit of the Italian military and he needed a small, customizable way to probe circuit boards he pulled from cell phones and other electronics. How cool is that? I also love this tiki-themed project from Mark Bosco of Vixen Labs. Using a Raspberry Pi, some NeoPixel LEDs, and an Adafruit sound effects board, he turned his basement tiki bar into an interactive light volcano. To get the smoke effect, I figured he used a vaporizer, but his thorough build guide pointed me to these tiny, German-made smoke generators used for model trains. I'm very impressed and envious of that bar. Tips! A big thanks to fan of the show Grant Johnston for telling me that the latest issue of Magpie Magazine is available as a free PDF download. There are some great Raspberry Pi projects in here including a Pi Zero phone and a portable game console from Noah and Pedro Ruiz of Adafruit. I also got the new issue of Make Magazine this week. I think it came to me a little early because I have a piece in here. The special section of this one is on biohacking, and it's a great read. Over on Hackster, I found a useful roundup of 3D printed cases for electronic components like battery holders and mounts for ultrasonic rangefinders. I'm sure these will come in handy someday. And maybe it's just me, but this week I finally came to grips with the fact that Instructables really does have a great selection of free online classes. I've been seeing them push classes more over the past few months, and I'm a big fan of Becky Stern's Arduino class. Part of me has to believe that Autodesk will eventually charge for these once they build up enough momentum. So I suggest getting on them now while the getting's good. And that's it. Seriously, that's all I'm doing. I'm just gonna crawl back into bed right now, okay? But thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.